Hi, this is Paul Thomas at Interfex 2012, and today I'm speaking with Jonathan Arnold, and Jonathan is the Vice President and General Manager of Sterile Technologies for Catalan. Jonathan, thanks for being with us today. It's a pleasure, Paul. Uh, Jonathan, first of all, Catalan is uh, obviously one of your expertise is in the area of aseptic uh, processing, aseptic technologies. What's new in that area? What uh, trends are you seeing? Well, um, Paul, I, you know, I think one of the key things of aseptic processing is uh, the security and risk uh, issues associated with that. Um, here in Catalan, we have a technology which is blow, fill and seal, um, which offers customers a very secure, robust aseptic uh, technology. The forming of the container, the filling of the container, and the sealing of the container takes place in around 8 seconds to 10 seconds. Uh, in a very small controlled area, less than a square foot. Um, so security of, of the aseptic process is excellent, it's paramount, and it's been recognized by the FDA as a secure um, advanced aseptic process. So even though Blowfill Seal has been around for a while, what you're saying is there have been really some significant developments here in the last couple of years. Yes, absolutely. And um, I think the interesting thing is that Blowfill Seal is really starting to find some new market areas and applications um, over and above the traditional, let's say, respiratory or ophthalmic uh, applications that it's t typically been used for. Including biologics, is that correct? Yeah, very much so, um, Paul. The, um, the molecules, the large molecules that are coming out of uh, the pharma industry now, not all of them, but some of them may have a, an interaction uh, with glass. Glass is ionic, and so therefore, uh, the plastic, the polypropylene container can offer some customers advantages um, uh, in a blowfill seal technology. Do you want to tell us about some of your specific technologies that you've got here, some of the new things that you're doing with blowfill seal? Yeah, well, uh, I brought along a few samples, but I mean, this would be a traditional, typical respiratory or ophthalmic. Um, what we're seeing is the market is evolving into some types of um, uh, in intravenous uh, IV bags. Mm -hmm. um, we also have um, uh, devices for being able to squirt the uh, liquid into the um, uh, application area. And I think the most interesting thing is really insertion technology. This is where we can form the proprietary container. We can actually insert a stopper or a lure lock and then s complete the seal over it. Again, all within that very short space of time. Um, and th this is really going to expand and open up the parental market for us, especially for molecules like biologics. And probably from a regular st regulatory standpoint, this is a significant development as well. Yes, absolutely. Um, we are in the process of launching this uh, product, bringing it to market. We have customers that were um, beta customers that we're taking through the process, but I think we will find that this is a, a very much a regulatory step forward from uh, aseptic processing. And then you've also got a single unit dose here uh, for, for parentrols. Yes, absolutely. Um, we can make um, blowfill seal into sort of pretty much any shape and size, as you can see from the IV bag through to small uh, dropper containers like this. Another area that we're seeing uh, growing for the market demand is oral liquid unit dose. So not necessarily sterile, but uh, being able to administer, maybe for pediatric applications, a unit dose into a patient or a, a child, twisting off the top, administering the product, uh, and then throwing away, rather than a, a big sticky bottle where you know you have to get the dosage form absolutely right through the spoons and I know as a father I I tend to sometimes uh, not get it absolutely right mm -hmm. yeah so um, I mean looking at all this blowfill seal is really a lot more diverse than it has been in the past and, and really a lot it has a lot more uh, capabilities for manufacturers I think that's a, a very nice way of looking at it Paul um, we as a company are, are committed to diversifying the capabilities of blowfill seal it's a core technology for us um, and I think you'll see a lot more uh, applications coming out from Blowfill Seal in the next few years. Well, Jonathan, thanks so much for talking with us today. I really appreciate it. Thank you to you.